Good day to you. I'm Stephen Chan. I'm the Professor of World Politics here at SOAS. And I spent a number of years living in Africa, and I continue to travel there very, very often um, and work there. I've worked there in a variety of guises, not only academic, but diplomatic and in terms of peacekeeping. Met a number of the early leaders and thinkers of Africa. And I convene a course called African Political Thought. And this is really a course trying to give an intellectual history of the struggle for freedom. This is very, very much because of still a received impression that there's a lack of thought in the African continent and nothing could be further from the truth. So the course covers those leaders who fought for independence, who struggled for independence, but all the same left behind a legacy of thought which has been recorded in their own writings. And the course looks at these writings, asks what was right, what was wrong about those writings, how those writings often aspirational compared with the track record of the authors when they were leaders of countries, tries to come to an objective and partial verdict based on the evidence of history as to what they tried to do, what they managed to do, but all the same to impart the idea that none of this was casual, none of this was thoughtless. To the contrary, it was very, very thoughtful. So the course tries to remedy a common erroneous perception and it deals with African political thought with the emphasis on the word thought.